So if you have a vehicle and when you step on the gas and you start to accelerate, it starts to shake. But then when you let off the gas and you're just coasting, the shaking stops. I thought I'd go over some causes of this and how you can go about figuring out what's causing the issue. So first of all, if you're only getting shaking when you go to step on the gas and you're accelerating, this is very likely going to be something going on with the drivetrain, which is basically the components that move the vehicle forward. So this is going to be things like a CV axle or a U-joint or a drive line or something along those lines. And so because of this, the most common cause for front wheel drive vehicles is going to be a CV axle and for rear wheel drive vehicles is going to be a bad U-joint. This is very common for the CV axles to go bad. So if you have a front wheel drive vehicle, this is the first thing you want to go and check out. Quite often when these go bad, they make ticking noises. So like if you go to turn right or you go to turn left or something like that, they'll make little ticking noises. Or sometimes when you go into reverse, there's going to be two CV axles, one on each side of the engine going to each of the front wheels. There's rubber boots that hold grease inside of there. And when these go bad, quite often they start to leak. Although they can also be bad and not leaking, but quite often when they go bad, they start to leak. But the first thing for front wheel drive vehicles is going to be the CV axle. And if you have a rear wheel drive vehicle, then it's going to be a possible bad U-joint. These U-joints go bad and they'll cause a vibration or sometimes they'll cause like a clunking noise depending on how bad they are. So if you're like sitting at a stop sign or something like that and you go to step on the gas and you hear a clunk and your vehicle has rear wheel drive, that quite commonly is a bad U-joint. So if you have a rear wheel drive vehicle, you can go check out your U-joints and be sure that they're good. Another thing that could cause this problem is that if you've got an unbalanced tire or if the rim is bad. For example, if one of the rims hit a curb or something like that, it might be bent a little bit or it just might be unbalanced. So it's causing a vibration. Quite often when you have this problem, the vibration will go away at different speeds. So for example, it might come up when you're doing like 30 miles an hour, but then it goes away when you hit 40 or something along those lines. But if you could go around and check all your rims, be sure they don't look like they're damaged or anything like that. And if you haven't had those tires balanced in a long time, then you might want to look into that. The next thing on the list is going to be loose lug nuts. You can go around and just check all the lug nuts and be sure they're all tight so that they're not loose or anything like this. And then especially if you had some kind of work done on the tires or something like that, like you got new tires, then the people who are working on it, they might have forgotten to tighten up the lug nuts properly. So if you can, just go around and just check and be sure that all your lug nuts are tight. And the next thing on the list that might cause this problem is going to be a bad motor mount or a bad transmission mount. Usually there's going to be like two motor mounts and one transmission mount, although it can vary. So you need to check your own vehicle to see what's going on. But if one of these mounts goes bad, it can throw things off, which can tweak the drive line or the CV axle and cause strange problems like vibrations or clunking or things like this. So if you could go check out your motor mounts and your transmission mounts and just check to see if they got any damage or if they gone bad. And when a vehicle has a bad motor mount, quite often the whole engine will lurch up. So if you open the hood and you press on the brake pedal and you just give it a little bit of gas, quite often you can see the whole engine lurch up more than it should. Sometimes if that motor mount is really bad, you can put your hands on both sides of the engine and you can actually shake the whole engine around. And sometimes you can hear it clunking around where the bad motor mount is. But the next thing to go and check is going to be those motor mounts and that transmission mount. And these next things are some less common causes that don't usually cause a vibration, but in some cases they can. And this is going to be things like an engine problem or something's gone wrong with the transmission. If something has gone wrong with the engine or the transmission, when you scan the vehicle's computer, you very likely would get error codes. For example, if you got a P0301, then that would be cylinder one misfire, and you would know there's an issue there. Or if you got a P270300, that would point to some kind of issue going on with the transmission. It's really easy to scan the onboard computer as long as you have an OBD2 scan tool. There's some low cost scan tools on like Amazon or eBay, some for less than like $20. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also take your vehicle to an auto parts store like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or something like that. Quite often they'll come out and they'll scan your vehicle for free and tell you if there's any issues going on. But if you do think it's an engine problem or a transmission problem, then the first thing to do would be to go scan for any codes. And the last thing on the list that's not very common, but it can cause issues, is if for some reason the car frame got damaged. It got tweaked or bent or something like that. And that's only going to happen if the vehicle is inside of a bad accident. It would have to be some kind of pretty serious accident for the whole frame to get tweaked. This wouldn't be just a fender bender or something like that. And so it's not very common. But the last thing on the list is going to be that the frame that everything bolts to somehow got damaged. And so that's basically it. I just want to go over some of the causes for a vehicle that shakes when you're accelerating but then it doesn't shake when you're coasting. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helped you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.